All right. <clears throat> Man, I can't ever not clear my throat, can I? I might adjust. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. Monday. What a day. Oh, what a day. Mondays are always the ones we do for states. And we continue that trend. Uninterrupted, unabetted. Those are probably the incorrect words, but uh, that's what we're doing. And today, we continue. And we're going to ask this very simple question. What did Tennessee, the same thing Arkansas? Welcome to the great state of Tennessee. Or if you're from the state, apparently it's Tennessee. Instead of making it Tennessee, they make it, instead of three syllables, they make it into two. Here it is in the center of the, uh, kind of the center, uh, southern U.S., southeast, about as west-southeast as you can get, if that makes any sense. <clears throat> See down here, it's very uh, um, narrow. Or th yeah, narrow. Thin would be the other way state with Virginia and Kentucky bordering it to the north, Missouri, Arkansas to the west, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia to the south, and basically North Carolina to the, uh, to the east. Capital is good old Nashville. Other cities of note, you got Memphis. As you look here, um, the eastern part of the state is very mountainous and uh, foam of the Blue Ridge Mountains. If you remember what we talked about in North Carolina, Appalachia goes right through here and kind of peters out down here. You've got on the west side, you've got Memphis, you've got the Mississippi River. Uh, and in the middle, you got Nashville, a lot of country music. Um, now it's kind of just any music in general. It used to be mostly country, but now it's 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 a pretty good music scene from what I've been told. Uh, Grand Old Opry's here. You've got Dolly Parton, and I think whatever like amusement park thing she has is there too. Uh, Grand Old Opry. I don't know if I mentioned that. Let me take a sip and let's get into it. Now I myself have never been to this state. <clears throat> Closest I've ever been was probably being to Kentucky, and that's really not that close. Uh, or South Carolina. It's an arguably kind of a toss-up. The uh, nickname of the state is the Volunteer State, and we'll get into that later. Kent Williams. Carter County. I don't know any of the counties, so that's not going to help me. Um, it became a state on June 1st, 1796. It was the 16th state. And then also, it was uh, one of the states that was part of the Confederacy. It was the last state to join the Confederacy, and uh, the first to be brought back, or reintegrated back into the uh, Poplar Grove. I don't know if I'm actually going to find where this is. I'm going to try. I mean, I always do. What a blessing you are. Eric, Lisa, Jeremy, and Jonathan. Well, if you say so, let's all bless them. Blood Dean, Bull Dean Citizen Center. I, I can't, I can't make that out. Uh, will I find anything else out here? It's, it's a very picturesque fall day here in Tennessee, as you can see. Let's look at this house. This is a very tiny house. It's a little too wide to be a shotgun shack. <clears throat> That's a very old Streamline RV. Looks to be kind of integrated into the house. 20 seconds. Will I find anything? Beware of dog. Yep, says sign beware of dog. It's very, very ubiquitous. I see those everywhere. And this feels just like my state. I gotta make a guess. I'm gonna say we're over here in Grimsley. Let's see if I'm close. One second left. I'm not at all. We were even farther east. How about that? In the mountainous chunk of the uh, of Tennessee. Anyway, let's go over some more of the facts. It is the um, 
36th largest by area and 16th most populous of all the states. Excuse me. Um, uh, yeah. The state of Tennessee is rooted in the Watagua Association, which I didn't know anything about. Excuse me. It's apparently a 1772 frontier pact generally regarded as the first constitutional government west of the Appalachians. What is now Tennessee was initially part of the North, was part of North Carolina, and later part of the Southwest Territory, which is a uh, chunk of land, which I believe is kind of like, eh, down there. Tennessee was admitted to the Union on the 16th, June 1st, 1796. Tennessee was the last to leave the Union and join the Confederacy at the outbreak of the American Civil War in 1861. It was occupied by Union forces in 62, first state to be readmitted to the Union. Um, Tennessee also furnished more soldiers for the Confederate Army than any other state besides Virginia, and more soldiers for the Union Army than the rest of the Confederacy combined, which basically means is, um, they were the... Confederate state to have more people live in the state be like, no, I want to, I'm, I'm with the North. More of them were in here. And a lot of that had to do with, uh, man, that was a terrible score. Apparently I was very far away. Um, the governor at the time really wanted to leave. However, a very large chunk of the state did not want to. And, uh, I think it was like 50, let me, let me find it here. 58, no, 53% to 46, I believe is what it was. Uh, 54 to 46 margin. Uh, East, East Tennessee wanted to be still with the North, and uh, most of the rest of the state wanted to be with the Southern, the Confederates. Um, there is even a push for the Eastern part of the state to become its own um, state and stay with the north, but uh, it didn't really happen. We do see a school, so this may help me. Can I see a school name a sign? Maybe it's over here. Yep, it is. What are we? Instilling six, that doesn't help me. In Ingram Solwell Elementary School, that does not help me. It's apparently one of these places where one of two things happens. A, it's a big enough city where they have multiple schools and they, uh, can't name the school right after the uh, the town because that's not how it works. Maybe there is one, and they can't have two afterwards because it would get conf confusing. Concrete work done, 30 years experience. Well, if you need concrete work done, be careful with that stuff. It is a, a corrosive material and will fuck you up if you're not careful. Never really knew that about concrete. Can I see this sign? Deliveries received that does not help me. Something employees. Nope. Let me find out where we are. This seems relatively flat, and compared to uh, the first place we were at, this seems more along the lines with Western Tennessee. The Bank of Franca. Francoing? Francoing? I can't, I can't make that out. Lawrenceburg. Um, I'm going to guess Lawrenceburg's over here. Is it? Well, there's Lynchburg. I'm going to put us here and see if I can't maybe eat Lawrenceburg. How about that? I just saw you. Lawrenceburg's a big enough place. So now what I need to do is hit home, orient myself. Uh, it was a weird S because there was a dead end there. We got to get back out here. We got to get back out here. Thank you. Get on this road. We're going to head. That's a cul-de-sac. That's not going to help me. Let's get out here. Let's get out here. I am so far. Oh, we were near that Ingram whatever school. Ingram Sowell Elementary School. So that was there. So let's hit home. We do have a general idea now. Let's see the street name. I... I just clicked one spot and it, it kicked me that far. Uh, 7th Street, which is spelled here, and I need to see Carrie Circle. There's Carrie Circle. So we're like, let me hit home. 
And that turn, yeah, we're like here, I think. I'm going to hit home again because I want to orient myself. There's the house right after the turn. We're just after. We're like right there. Nailed it. Anyway, uh, some other history about the state. Um, I know that <clears throat> as far as the colonization of the, the state goes, a lot of it again. Native American, like, I think the first mentioning of the word Tennessee, which is what the state would eventually be named after, was um, an American Indian village named Tanasqui, T-A-N-A-S-Q-U-I, in 1567 from a Spanish explorer, who apparently, that was the name of a Native American village. I, we were on the road. They're wrong. We're right. We're on a highway now. Uh, let's see, the volunteer state, yeah, that's right. So, um, I don't know if it's completely factual or, uh, apocryphal, whatever you want to call it. Let's just try to go until we find either a sign saying what highway we're on or an exit ramp, because then that'll help me out here. Although we're getting to an intersection with no lights. So one way, does it say on this road what we're going on? It does not. Come on. Get me to a road sign. This may help. This did not help. Arthur Auction Gallery, that does not help me. I need a root road sign. Stop telling me wrong way signs. Tell me the goddamn name of the road I'm on. I don't ask for much. Just the simple things to help me locate our position. Lots of wrong ways. They really want to make sure you know what way you're headed. This is probably, yep, do not enter. Someone still does it. Speed limit 65. Nope. Oh my god, I would have expected something by now this is like interstate but it's not give me some signage here I'm like halfway through this I haven't seen a route I've seen one speed limit sign 8 million wrong way signs though well we're at a junction of the route but that doesn't help me because exit okay we're on route 64 Okay, we're east on 64. The problem is, I think this 64, I think, is a very long route. Or not. 64. Here's 64 again. What were we on the intersection of? We gotta go back and look. Um, two something or other, wasn't it? Let's see. 241. Alright, so... There's 241. So we're like here, somewhere on this chunk of road. I'm going to go this way a bit and see if uh, it tells us we're near Lawrenceburg or whatever that Crockett thing was, which loops me right back to the, uh, ooh, ooh, that's just a Mack truck. Okay. So there's E64 there. What's this sign say? Lawrenceburg is that way and Waynesboro is that way. Waynesboro is that way. Yeah, so we're in the middle. What were we on the intersection of here? What's this street called? Get off my screen, map. Come on, thank you. Lawrenceburg. Man, none of these things have it. Let's see what this says. We're north on 240. Okay, there's 241. 240. There's 240, so we're closer to, like, here, then. Yeah. Okay, last 15 seconds. Tennessee is known as a volunteer state. A nickname some claimed was earned during the War of 1812 because prominent role played by volunteer soldiers from Tennessee, especially during the Battle of New Orleans. Other sources differ on the origin of the state nickname according to the Columbia Encyclopedia. Uh, the name refers... 
to volunteers for the Mexican-American War from 1846 to 1848. This explanation is more likely because President Polk's call for 2,600 nationwide volunteers at the beginning of the Mexican-American War resulted in 30,000 volunteers from Tennessee alone, largely in response to the death of Davy Crockett and appeals by former Tennessee governor and then Texas politician Sam Houston. So, um, Davy Crockett was a folk hero of not just America, but also Tennessee, and they did not take likely to him dying, I guess, at the Alamo. That's a lot of people to volunteer, so I guess their nickname was merited or earned. Interesting. Um, some of what the state is also known for is the Tennessee Valley Authority, I believe is what it's called. And that was built, or created, I should say, as part of the New Deal during the last uh, Great Depression where a lot of public works projects were created all throughout the U.S. And one of the main focus locations was a place called the Tennessee Valley Authority, where multiple dams were built and located a lot of public works things to build. Um, utilities, roads, dams, just get people working. Tennessee, Kentucky, Thresherman Show. That's a weird, weird thing, but there's a very long chunk of land this could be so we're just going to keep going on this road and hopefully find where we are this is a weird tie-dye festival <laughs> red river where is red river that may help me find out where we are is this red river this is powell river this is yeah this is some of this stuff all this is dammed to build hydroelectric power is this Red River? No, that's a lake. Is this Red River? That's Cumberland River. Is this Red River? That's Cumberland River still. Kentucky Lake. Lake Barkley. That does not help me. Uh, another thing they also included in the uh, um, God, what's the word? Um, Oak Ledge, or Oak Ridge, excuse me. It was a laboratory mainly focused around the Manhattan Project where a lot of um, nuclear testing and enriching of maybe, I don't know if they had uranium at the time. They probably did. I'm being very dumb. Russell Corbin. It's the Red River, and I'm not seeing it anywhere, which is a bit annoying. Is it over here? You live, what are you? You don't even say you're Boone Lake. That doesn't help me. Uh, what about you? You're a lake. Yeah, you're a, you're definitely a lake. All right, enough staring at this. We need, I need to find out where we are. This may help. Robert Penn Warren. I don't know who that is. That is six miles to something, but they Guthrie. Wonder if any relation to Arlo. Probably not. So I do have a location now. It's just I don't think I'm gonna find Guthrie. Although maybe I will. I got less than a minute. I'm really uh pinning this on being up here in this near the border here, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not seeing it. I'm going to get very bad on the score here. What does this say? Probably adopt the highway program. It is. Next two miles for Red River Valley. Where the f... Hmm. All right, I think that this first sign I saw was a red herring. Red River is going to be somewhere else. That's the Tennessee River. It's the Tennessee River again. I got to click a place. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to get it wrong. So be it. Unless you're, you're the Tennessee River, aren't you? Over here. It was near the border. There's Guthrie. I'm goddamn blind. 
Bellwitch. Isn't that a 90 minute song? That's like sludge metal. I listen to a little bit and it, it's a bit ponderous, but it's not for me. Maybe it's Mirror Witch. I forget exactly. But that has nothing to do with Tennessee. Um, a lot of sports here. I got a couple of professional teams. You got the. Um, well, I don't think the Memphis Grizzlies exist anymore. Actually, they they may they might have moved. Why have I not? No, they're still around. Tennessee Titans, who used to be the Houston Oilers, and then they moved. The Memphis Grizzlies, Nashville Predators, are all their big professional leagues. They have a bunch of smaller stuff, and also college sports. You've got like the uh, University of Tennessee, the Vols. Uh, they were an amazing, long-standing. I don't know if they still are. They're probably not. Uh, women's basketball um, franchise. I forget the name of the woman who was their coach for a long time. She was one of the. I think she was the winningest coach for a long time. It's still Gino Oriyama, I believe his last name was, the head coach of uh, UConn's women's basketball team who might still be going on some insane tear, but I've kind of stopped listening to sports in the past few years. So ooh, there is a junction here with 186. All right, we do have street signs. Three-way. Ooh, this'll, this is what I'm looking for. Let's back up a smidge. All right, we're on 45 and 45 West. Excuse me. C45. Okay, so now I'm looking for a three something or other. We're going to hit back. Find this junction with um, 186. Okay, so now we're going to look for 186. We will find you. Yeah, 45 in a bypass. That's confusing to me. And now my screen won't load. There's three ways. So we're like right here, actually. Potentially. There's, uh, because three way was one way, but we're going to 186 north, which is over here, which means we're like right here. Which means we're like there. Let me hit home. How far away were we here? Need to find a road. Let's see. What is this business up here? Focus for me, please. Come on. Thank you. Uh, that's just a house. Although there is a road here. What are we for a road? We. It's not telling me. That's unfortunate. Not on that one either. Um, what's this sign? What's this sign? It's probably just saying three ways, like a mile. Nope, Lewis Road. Okay, so now we're zooming in. There's Lewis Road. So yeah, we're like, we're definitely there. Uh, was there water? No. We were... I'm pretty okay with where we are right now. Maybe like right there. Uh, where is that? There is a cross there. So maybe we're like right here. I think I got it. I'm going to take a sip. I think I earned that. Uh, five seconds. Soak it in. <clears throat> Give me the score. That should be worth more. Anyway, that's the state. Hopefully something of interest or um, knowledge, even though it's not the correct word, was actually absorbed here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, tips, hints, strategies, whatever you want, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Pay attention to uh, this week. There's obviously going to be GeoGuessr, and there's going to be some other at least one other interesting video to check out.
but I'll leave that for you to see yourself, and hopefully you appreciate it. I think it's fun, and I'm going to keep doing it. But as it stands now, I'd like to thank you all for taking your time to watch this. And I'll see you maybe tomorrow, if not tomorrow, Wednesday. But have a good one, folks. Talk to you soon. Goodbye.